In convict times, when Malubimba became Newcastle, the hills of the city were known for tough, hard men and pain. Not much has changed. For the Knights, the hills of King Edward Park are a pre-season staple. But lurking behind the stunning natural beauty is extreme physical exertion. A session not taken lightly. Back at Knights HQ, Another new addition arrives. It's 19 year old English youth international, Bailey Hudson. Bailey! How are you, how are you mate? How are you going? Yeah, good to see you, mate. Good. good. Oh, yeah. good. Right. And our very own Danny Badiris couldn't be happier. How's your quarantine, mate? Oh, yeah, good. All okay? Yeah, yeah, nice one. Yeah, I got a little gym and everything in there, a little balcony, so it was quality, yeah. Good. Yeah, it was all good. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. Yeah, it's good. Good setup. Yeah. Yeah. But first, introductions and familiarisation are the order of the day. Meal room, sort of breakfast, lunch, really. So yeah. Fresh from making his Super League debut with Castleford in October this year, Hodgson joins the Knights' growing list of young talent. Do you know anything about Adam? You spoke to Adam a few times? I've, yeah, I yeah. spoke to him a few times. I've been yeah. uh, a few Zooms with him, and then mm -hmm. I've obviously had a few calls with him as well. So yeah, it's been good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Here he goes. It's the man, man, Big Alex. Big Hi, Alex. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Just arrived. Yeah, all happening. Yeah. All happening. Got his gear on. Finally and over. It's Look Phoenix, it. Phoenix Crosland, yeah, Bailey yeah. Hodgson. Nice to meet you, mate. How's yeah, it going? Yeah, good. It's good to have you. How's the flight, mate? Yeah, good. good. I've got some good business flights, so I was just sleeping on the floor. Yeah, From first pre-season to 15th, Knights skipper Mitchell Pearce is well aware of what is to come over summer. Yeah, get up. Um, we we'll start pretty early pre-season, so I normally get up about 6.37 in the morning, um, have some brekkie at home. Um, get into training and get around the boys, get some, normally do our mobility sessions early, get our stretching and stuff like that going and then it obviously depends pre-season to, uh, to the footy season, off-season to footy season is obviously different but yeah, a lot of, um, lot of warm-up, a lot of fitness and running, a lot of kicking, a lot of skills, a lot of wrestle, so it's a tough slog but it's what we love and um, yeah, probably last year's pre-season is probably the hardest one I've done the whole time I've been playing. Um, which you know, sucks at the time, but you know, those, those pre-season set you up for, for the year you're going to have. So you know, we're going to have to set, up, set ourselves up uh, with a shorter pre-season this year and make sure we nail it so we're attacking the start of the season. Calm before the storm and time for a coffee at Knights HQ. Faces old and new forging important bonds that will carry them through the rigours of the long NRL season. When I'm watching guys in pre-season, um, yeah, the thing I value when I'm watching a player is just their effort and attitude, the tenacity to to make sure that every day you're doing things with purpose. You're actually striving to get better, um, striving to make yourself better, striving to make your teammates better. Yeah, if you can see those qualities in a person, guys that are giving their best effort uh, to improve every day. Uh, you have to respect that. Extreme uh, heat wave here with 40 plus degree temperatures throughout the northwest, funneling down the valley. Uh, the upper hunter is going to be incredibly hot, both Friday, even hotter on Saturday, with those low to mid 40s uh, expected. When the heat comes on, expectations remain high. Yeah, 
Yeah, the heat's always hard. It's always hard training the heat. Um, I, to be honest, I prefer that than the rain. So um, you, you feel good, don't you, when you train? Train. You train Saturday morning in the hot sun. All the boys getting in together and sweating up. You know, you feel good after. So I enjoy the heat, but it does get pretty warm up. Especially last preseason. Obviously, we had a big camp in Tamworth, which was, which was uh, as you were there, it was boiling hot and it was a tough camp. So those things are always hard. That's been done. Good. Shuffle across. Field through. Keep it rolling. Let's finish back at the try line. There's bricklayers on building sites all across Newcastle today that are out in this sun and they're, you know, they, they break for smoke and lunch, but they get up and they go again. And that session there is designed to, to test you physically and mentally. And um, yeah, there's parts where we're moving and working really hard and then there's down periods, which you know you could liken to the building side having smoke out, but some stage you've got to get back on your feet and you've got to go again. Um, Today's uncomfortable, but you usually feel good after it. Come in, have a cold ice bath, and you know, rehydrate, and you know, it feels like you've achieved something today. It's a dose of real life, and there is always more work to be done. As the pre-Christmas block of pre-season draws to a close, it's nearly time to stop, to rest, and take stock of the significant ground that has been covered. But as most players know, and some are soon to find out, there is more to come in the new year. Be the player will return in 2021.